In part one of exploring the Excel 2007 interface, we were covering the different uh, menus and the groups of icons and uh, settings and options on the ribbon, and we made it as far as the formulas tab. Um, additionally on this tab, and we might very well cover these in a later video, we have some options here regarding your formulas, tracing precedence and dependence, uh, running some error checking, and this will help you identify where there might be problems with your calculations and also alert you as to which cells are being calculated and including in the results appearing uh, in the results of your formulas. Uh, we also have some calculation options identifying when certain calculations should take place, um, but we'll cover that at a later point in time. The uh, next tab we have here on the ribbon is the data tab. And Excel gives you the option to bring data in from outside sources. For example, from a Microsoft Access database, from the internet, from other database sources, and so on. On the data tab, a feature that you will likely use quite frequently is the sort option. The sort option will let you take your list or your database, your table, and sort it in alphabetical or numeric or date, time, order, uh, from A to Z, Z to A, or uh, numerically or in chronological date order. Uh, additionally, you have the filter option, which is a very useful feature, which uh, will help you if you have a very large uh, table or a list with some recurring entries in each column. You can simply identify which entry you'd like to appear to the exclusion of all others. We'll cover filtering and auto-filtering more in a later video. Uh, you have additional options here. Converting text to columns could be helpful because you might have someone's uh, name, a first name, middle initial, last name in a single column, and you may choose to separate out the first name from the middle initial from the last name into separate, distinctly separate columns. A uh, feature that's very helpful as well here that you'll find under your data tab is remove duplicates. Any rows that may exist more than one time, and this happens quite frequently, especially when you start to manage large amounts of information here in uh, Excel. All right, uh, some other features you have here. Uh, next tab over is the review tab. This is where you'll find your spell check. This is where you'll have research options. This is where you have a thesaurus to look up similar meaning terms. Uh, you have the ability to translate languages. There you have comment options to insert comments regarding cells, perhaps uh, indicate why a particular value appears or what's being calculated and indicate that in a form of a comment. Uh, you also have under the review tab options to protect your sheet, your entire Excel workbook file, and to share your workbook. Sharing your workbook will allow yourself and others to all update the same Excel file at the same time. And uh, we'll cover those details uh, later on in a separate video. Uh, another feature you have here is track changes. Any changes made by uh, more than one reviewer will be saved in the form of track changes, which you can then identify and choose which changes to accept and make them a permanent part of your spreadsheet and which changes you'd rather not keep and you can discard or reject. Our next tab we have is the View tab. This is where you can indicate certain view preferences of what you see on the screen versus what you don't want to see. You can hide certain aspects of the screen. You have your, your normal view. There's also a new page layout view which has been introduced in Excel 2007, which will let you see uh, quite precisely what you'll get before you send your spreadsheet to print. Your page break preview will give you the option to see where your page breaks will occur when you go to print your document out. It also shows you the printable versus the non-printable area, and it also gives you the ability to change where the page breaks fall so you don't lose columns onto separate sheets when you print your spreadsheet out. You can indicate whether you want the ruler to appear or not appear across the top of the screen and down the left-hand side. Your grid lines, you can make them appear or make them invisible. Your formula bar, your headings. You also have zoom options where you can zoom in or zoom out of your spreadsheet to see more on the screen or less on the screen. 
You have your options to display a more than one or multiple spreadsheets on the screen side by side or top and bottom. You can also split the screen. You also have the ability to hide uh, aspects of your spreadsheet or what appears on the screen. There's also a feature here to record macros which will uh, allow you to save certain features and uh, programmatic effects in the form of a macro that you can run. And uh, lastly, you have the add-ins tab where any plugins or additional Excel features that you might download or install or any macros or custom macros or menus that you create would appear. So that in a nutshell will sum up your, your Microsoft Excel ribbon the different uh, icon categories, and the different menu options that you have there.